Hello! In this video, we want to show you how to get professional chroma key results using the freeware composite photo app chroma key filter. Now, we want to walk you through this video and show you how to set up a green screen. Now, in a studio, normally you have professional lighting, you have a green screen that's free of wrinkles, unlike this one. But the nice thing about the chroma key feature in the composite photo app is that it's a very powerful feature that requires very little setup. And that's what we want to show you how to do. We want to show you how to create a quick setup and get professional results with very little effort. So, just to give you a quick breakdown, behind me, I have a chroma screen, a green screen chroma key background that I bought online and I've actually just clamped this up in the corners of our closet using these tiny little black clamps. So this is not a professional setup. I don't have any additional lighting besides the, the ceiling light here in our little home office. So I haven't even taken the time to iron the green screen and we wanna show you just how powerful this feature is and how to get set up so you can use this quickly and easily. Okay, now what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to show you how we take a picture using this green screen. So I've got one video running and then I've actually got my iPhone and I'm gonna pull up the camera and show you how we set up this shot, okay? The first and most important thing is that we want our subject to be entirely in the frame of the green screen, okay? And it's also good if you have a few feet of space between your subject and the green screen, just so that your subject is the focus and that you can get rid of some of those, those wrinkles and creases a little easier. So I'm just gonna take a picture here and then we'll have you make another pose for us. All right, perfect. Take another picture, and let's do one more. Very good, so I've got my subject in the green screen here, and I'm going to clip everything very quickly and easily just to make sure she's all in that green screen background. All right, now we'll take this into the composite photo app and show you how to use the chroma key function. Okay, I'm actually going to finish the editing process on my iPad because the screen's a bit bigger, it's just a little bit easier for me to use. So we'll open up our freeware composite photo app. And remember that in the latest version of iOS 6, the photo stream feature allows you to share photos between devices without any additional saving, emailing, or uploading. So I'll go ahead and touch the balloon icon in the top left, touch the album feature, and go down to my photo stream, and now the photos that I took on my phone are available here. So I'll choose the one that I want to use and bring it onto my iPad to finish editing. Now, keep in mind, you can do this on your phone or you can take the picture on your iPad and do it all from your iPad. I just like the phone camera quality better. So I took the picture on my phone and intend to edit it here on my iPad. Now, remember we have lots of different ways we can remove the background. We can use the fill option, the eraser option, but I want to show you the powerful chroma key filter. So touch the bucket icon in the bottom right corner, and then I'm just gonna start searching for it. I'll start typing chroma, and as I do that, you'll see that the second option here is chroma key. Now watch what happens when I touch this filter. No further adjustments, I'll just touch it. Instantaneously, almost the entire background is gone and it looks great. It's cut out wonderfully. It looks fantastic. You'll see if I zoom in here, I've got great edges with very little additional editing to do. Now at the bottom here, we have this slider where we can adjust the threshold for what's keyed out. So I'm going to adjust this a bit and key out the underexposed parts at the bottom a little bit better. And you'll see that photo already looks great, but I still have a couple areas that are showing up because they were underexposed when I took the picture. Now, if you have a perfectly even lit green screen, this won't happen, but we wanna show you how powerful this is even with a non-professional setup. So here's what we're gonna do. I'm going to leave this as it is, and then I'm going to touch the draw button and I'm going to scroll my brush width way up to about 20 or 30, somewhere in there. And I'm going to change the color here to a green that is close to the green screen. So I'm going to choose this green color over here. And I'm gonna hit save. And if you remember the areas in our picture that were showing up as not being keyed out, we got this crease over here. So I'm just gonna draw some of this green color over this crease. And then I'm actually going to touch the draw icon again to get out of that and kind of see how it looks. And you'll see instantaneously the chroma key has now keyed out that area that is now that similar green color. So I'm going to move my photo up, zoom in here for the last little bit that's showing up right next to her skirt. And I'll go back into the draw function. 
and I'll use this green again and I'm just gonna go in this area where it's a little bit underexposed and just draw over that section very quickly. All right, now if I go back, I'll just make sure I've got a nice clean line there and I'll get out of the drawing interface. You'll notice that instantaneously, those last few little spots that were there have been keyed out. Now I have a perfectly keyed picture. I've gotten rid of this few little blemishes and underexposed areas. So I'll bring in a background. I'll go up here, I'll go to the plus album, I'll go to my photo stream and I'll choose this picture I took on my phone the other night as a background. And then I'll touch the behind button here to put it behind her. I'll double tap, double tap, excuse me, double tap her picture and scale it up to put it here like she's making this pose in the window or something as we look out over the lake here. So that's how easy it is to use the chroma key feature. We encourage you to play around with that. And again, you don't have to have a high professional studio end setup to make this powerful feature work quickly and easily for you. Thank you for watching. If you have any additional questions, please don't hesitate to ask.